M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. So, what's the difference between a scanner and a ham radio? Well, the main difference is that you can import lots of frequencies using a scanner using a site in the UK called Radio Reference UK. In the USA, it's just called Radio Reference. And you can just tell the scanner, to, you can import hundreds of frequencies, tell the scanner to scan them all and record them and save them and it all does it automatically. But the downside is there's a massive learning curve to scanners. There's no easy. Yes, you can just type a frequency. I can press hold now and I can type in, say, my, my node. So we go 434.300 and press enter, enter again, and then just back out completely and it will just... You'll just hear my node if it's if it's active. That is, four three four three hundred. And the other thing you can do is there are preset bands. Quite often in these scanners, you just press one, then two, then three, and it'll be preset frequencies. And also sometimes they're they're actually called service search. So that is like you'll have air band, military band, marine band. So that's the quick way of using a scanner. And most people get to that point, set their favorites by just typing a, a few frequencies that they really like, enter, save, and that's all they do. But the proper way of using a scanner, and I'm not saying I'm the person that does it the proper way, um, is to import frequency. So let's go to Radio Reference UK, being that I'm in the UK. And then you can search frequencies here. You can search, put a postcode in, areas, or scroll to the bottom, just randomly select some of the preset ones as VHF ones there. Look, and then in the scanner, the, the SDS 200 100 uses a HPE file. So you just go scanner export, click export, and look, it's exported a, a marine HPE which we can import which we could do in a minute. So you get the idea, you import the, the, a big bank of frequencies. And yes, you do have to subscribe and pay money every year to get those frequencies. You, I can't give them out. So ProScan, and there's a free trial that you can try. And you've got ProScan, there's another web uh, program called here called ARC Pro. I like to tinker with all the different free so software because that's what I love about using scanners. Uh, and I have about five, six scanners here. It's because everyone's different. And it's just hobby, it's hobby stuff. You're tinkering and if you're in the USA, you've got a lot more to look at, you know, police detectives and they have a lot more un unencrypted frequencies than we do, but there's still plenty to listen to in the UK, but you've got to look for it. So anyway, let's open up the Pro, my ProScan software here. You'll see that's connected to my SDS 200 there that you can see in the background. And it, it has got screen control at the moment now. If we completely disconnect for now, we'll close that, disconnect, right? Then we'll open up my shortcut. So you download in the normal way, download the free trial, just go next, next, next. Uh, I'm just gonna show you where you download here. Look on the right hand side. Hopefully my radio is not in the way there. Right hand side, free download. And there's some really good screenshots that we're showing on the left hand side. So once you've downloaded it, you'll be able to just open up the shortcut. So just go, if you can't see it, just start to type pro in your search, P-R. There it is there, and there's the shortcut, and it will open. And it connects via your USB cable. Now, the reason it's saying it can't open favorites list, because on a scanner, there are two ways of connecting. So if you look at my scanner at the moment, you're seeing the screen nice and colorful and it will just, if I unscan that, it will just carry on scanning and you'll see it with the software as well. Cause I'm connected via that USB connection. But if you wanna make changes to the actual saved files, which are in the SD card, which is just here. Okay. That annoying noise forward. Um, then you, you have to go into a different mode. You effectively make the, S, the scanner like a giant SD card. Now, how do you do that? You just unplug the scanner USB lead from your computer, plug it back in, and this is the Uniden scanners, yeah? SDS 100, 200, 3, 600, 436. And when it says E on the screen, press E. And effectively now, your scanner's like a big SD card, okay? So now we can start communicating with what they call favorites. And it's lost the screen now because when you're in this mode, you, you haven't got a 
connection to your scanner that can give you a live feed. So this BCD that you're seeing now, which is in my USB drive, um, is, is my favorites, you know, all my channels that I've got stored. So we want to open the favorites editor. Now mine has instantly loaded them. If you can't find them, what you have to do is you have to open a file. So I'm going to show you how you do that. You just go file, open, and then navigate. Remember, it thinks that your scanner is now a USB drive, basically. And see the way it says USB drive V. Just go to BCD, which is the scanner I've got. It's actually an SDS 200, but it recognizes it as that. Click OK, and then it will just, you know, I've already done it. So it's loaded my favorites list. And these are my, all my frequencies. And if you, uh, if you click one of them, UK airports, and then underneath, the ones that have got frequencies uploaded will show, basically. You'll see the frequencies. It's going through. Because a lot of mine, there's, there's a load of frequencies there on the left. I Because I've been practicing. So I've just been loading up random stuff. Uh, and some of them haven't got frequencies. Right. So that's that. So how do we import a frequency that we've just did, for example? Well, nice and easy with this one here. So if we just go add a favorite. Sorry, that was the wrong way of doing it, right? You go File, then go down, and you go to Import Sentinel HPD or HPE file, like so. Then we find that marine file, double click it, and there it is there, and we go Import. And it says here where you're gonna save it. So let's save it to, yeah, where I called it Favorite 25. Click OK, like so close and then favorite 25 let's rename that just double click it should be able to rename it can be that odd so on the top here you've got tabs so we highlighted favorite 25 go to favorite there and just rename it and delete back and just go let's call it marine again and we can add quick keys if you want, if you're into that. I've not really learned much about quick keys, but you can add one, say three. Give it a favorites list tag number, startup configuration key, monitor. There's quick keys there, look. But it's there. So now if we double click the marine section here, hopefully that's got all our frequencies in it now. See them there? Quite a lot, isn't it? So now let's write that to our oh let's, let's uh, write that to our scanner. Scanner right up here top left. Send SMS. Ooh. Click OK. Click OK. And finish writing to scanner. So hopefully. We put the scanner back into monitor mode. I'll close that window down. And now we just need to unplug and reconnect our scanner. This time when it reboots, we're gonna hit the, instead of the E, when it gives you the option to do the E, we're gonna hit the dot or the no. And then we need to select what we're gonna scan. 